Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will look at Boss Mulling. As seen on picture, we can uh, we can machine Boss geometries with this operation. First, let's look at workpiece. We have a blank uh, as box, surrounded box. Uh, and we use a very big tool and we will make uh, just finish it uh, one roughing one uh, pass roughing we choose the geometry click ok cut pattern is helical z pass is 3 mm and we click generate tool paths are created we can define a stock here but side stock dot 2 millimeters and we click generate it makes a helical move helical interpolation so uh, it is a very good uh, cutting quality because tool doesn't lift and just make the Z pass always uh, so the tool life gets longer uh, these geometries are usually made with planar milling but in planar milling uh, you can't create an interpolated uh, tool pad so it isn't good for uh, tool life okay uh, we click OK and we will make a finish move we choose the geometry we click OK uh, the finish moves mustn't be shouldn't be helical it must be circular because uh, in circular move the machine just makes X and Y uh, moves so it is a more stable cutting and in helical move uh, in uh, boss milling you can find these uh, engage and retract moves and they are really good for uh, engaging we made the finish okay if we have a smaller tool what we will do I change the diameter to 20 and when I click generate this tool won't cut the left material here so I change the thickness to 40 and click OK now this uh, radial step over are active so I change it to 80 it follows the periphery uh, of the blank and always make helical interpolation in the roughing Uh, so you can make finish and roughing uh, roughing uh, tool pads with this boss milling with small or large diameter and you can use helical interpolation so uh, it is better than planar milling I think okay thanks for watching if you have questions or advices please write on comments and if you like the video please press the like button